once you purchase these pedals, they're gonna send you a download link to some Dropbox. You'll get this software here. Sounds kind of sketchy already, but <laughs> they, they don't have a website, so they send you the download link. Uh, and, and then you get uh, to the Sim Pedal Config V3 kind of zip, and you'll extract it. You'll open up the Sim Pedal Config. So double click on that, and then you will be met with this kind of just plain software here but it does what it's supposed to do. If I press on the throttle, you'll see it move. Press on the brake, see that go up and down. Press on the clutch, good to go. Uh, don't have a handbrake, so not gonna be messing around with that. Uh, and that's it. This software, I believe, stores all the information once calibrated to the control box that Simpson uh, sends with this to link up to the pedal. So once you've calibrated it, you can close the software, store it away, you don't really need it unless you need to calibrate the pedals again in the future. Now, I'm just gonna go through some simple stuff on here. Now, I'm not an expert at this, so I'm not going to know every single little thing that this software does, but I will go over it a little bit to kind of explain some of the things or what I do know about it. So looking at the throttle here, of course you have your dead band. Uh, that is basically, if you want to set a little bit of dead band, you can, this is the dynamic one, but if you press on your throttle a little bit and you don't want it to register that little input, you can just tweak that on up. And if I press on a little bit, it won't, you can see it moving, but it's not registering it. So it's not going red until I get above the threshold that I set here. Uh, if I, pull that all the way down at zero once that blue bar moves you can see that red one pop up there as well so that's what the dead band does it's good on the brake because some people rest their foot on the brake things like that so uh, you can put a little bit of dead band in there if need be uh, then you have your curves and all that kind of stuff oh and the filter by the way is you can turn that up and it kind of just makes things go a little bit smoother on this side here it slows things down. You can't see it now because it won't go through unless I hit calibrate and then it saves that calibration and then you'll kind of see the filter in effect, right? It, it's not like real time, I don't think, on some of this stuff. Then you come over to your curves here. So that is if you want a little bit more of a curve, meaning if you want less input on my throttle to equal more input in the game. I can up my curve. So 20 input will equal 40% of input on the red bar there. So it just all depends on your flavor and what you like. So you can adjust that curve and, and vice versa. If I want 20% of my input to equal only 10% of uh, throttle in the game, and I'm being very general here. It's a little bit more specific than that, but uh, that's what you can do with the curve. Uh, so you can adjust that by going in here and clicking on this a little bit, clicking it up and clicking it down. And you can see here that the, the curve will adjust. And that is it. I'll put it back to 20. And that's basically it. So in order to calibrate this, you hit calibration. I can click, click on my clutch, brake, throttle. It says tap each one of them three times and then we'll save it so if i tap my throttle one two three and you can see the input here i'll tap it again one two three that is full down full up if i tap the brake go full down with that three times and then clutch two three that's it and then if you see here you hit save calibration it'll disconnect, reconnect, and then that is it. And if I hit my throttle now, since I'm no longer calibrating, you see it, it goes all the way up. It's not even, it's not hitting 100% on there. That's why I tend, when I, when I calibrate, I don't like to go to the edge on the throttle or brake uh, for the most part, especially not on the throttle, because I want to get that 100%. So I would go all, I can come in here, loosen up my end stops, and kind of go to the end stops. I can move my end stops up a little bit and then stop it here. And then when I go back into, uh, when I'm done and it's calibrated, I can move it to where it's gonna go up to that 
right now it's not showing 100 because it maxed out on the pedal here so that's just one of those things that i'll go back in and adjust especially when you're talking these each one of these pedals have load cells on them so there's no hall sensors on the throttle so it's not basing itself off of a position it's basing off of pressure so with load cells that pressure kind of varies and so and you know load cells are sensitive so why they put load cells on the throttle and the clutch who knows it's probably what they had access to but it is what it is uh so i'll you know come back later and adjust that uh the brake you can see i can get that all the way up to 100 percent pressing that super hard and if i want to adjust that i can come in here and play around with that i can go in I like to use a, a two filter when I, you know, do the brake uh, and I'll recalibrate it with that filter on and it kind of smooths things out a little bit. Even with the throttle, you know, you can smooth that throttle out a little bit. So when you hit it and then you let off the throttle, it kind of like eases itself back down a little slower than what it normally would. And if you slam on it, it'll go up, but it goes up a little bit slower. That's what that filter does. And then the clutch. Clutch is clutch, you know. It doesn't really have to be perfect on the clutch. As long as it gets past that bite point or whatever you set in the game, you'll be fine with the clutch. And that's basically it. That is the software. That is how you play around with it. That's how you set it. Then you wanna go into your game, get everything calibrated on that side, and you're squared away. And that was a pretty quick and crude explanation of these pedals, how they work, some of the software. If you guys have any questions, any comments please do it down below and I'll do a follow-up video to this uh, if you want to know a little bit more about these pedals please uh, reach out to me and I'll answer any questions that I can uh, something that I did notice and that I'm probably gonna change and I think this was how they listen you know had him in the store as well you see here it has the uh, Sun and sim and then this says Simpson so you can easily just unscrew this and screw and switch these around I'm sure and it'll say Sims Sun, but I don't know. Maybe they, a lot of people don't buy the the clutch, and they just they just buy this. So that's probably why they put the Sim on there. So it's just Sim Sun, and then you know Sim, so that these two normally come together. You definitely need these two and not that. So that's probably why they put that on that third. But if you have all three, you probably want to switch these two around to make it say Sim Sun. I don't know what Simpson means or whatever, but it is what it is. But with that being said, all right, peace out.